We're here in Baltimore, Maryland for the NAACP annual convention, the first meeting they're having under the Trump presidency. Speak out. Don't be afraid. Don't worry about being the subject of a tweet. Eric Holder spoke today at the NAACP convention. He just finished up, shaking a lot of hands. Hey, Mr. Holder, Chris Moody with CNN. Hey, man. Can we walk and talk real okay. quick with you? Right. What impact has Trump had on activism in communities of color? Well, I think it's probably galvanized people. Um, I think people feel that there's the need to be um, active, there's a need to be involved, there's a need to have their voices heard in opposition to some of the policies that the president and people in the administration have been pushing. So um, I'm actually kind of heartened to see the numbers of people, not only in minority communities, but uh, really around the country, uh, people who are you know, expressing their views and trying to shape, um, shape policy. Some of the biggest names in democratic politics are here at the convention. I think all communities have been um, activated and inspired to have their voices heard because they feel their voices have not been heard um, in this administration. And I find it very exciting. I, and I'm finding also that it's people of every generation, of every gender, of every geographic area in our country. And, and so that is certainly a silver lining to what's been going on. So there's a group of people following Bernie Sanders through the NAACP convention. He's got a panel here with a couple other lawmakers. Um, he's very down to earth. Uh, he has a very, a very even track record. Um, he's been with the struggle. I wanted to get a picture with him to like show my friends and family back home that. Like, <laughs> um, I don't know. The work that we're doing is important, and like, I don't know. It means a lot. The NAACP is the oldest civil rights organization in the country, and they're trying to figure out how they remain relevant into the 21st century. It's a, a very important historic organization where a lot of people are wondering, like, what's their work now? And I think the NAACP itself is wondering that as well. One of the things that people must understand that social justice is not a competition. Uh, we applaud all the young people who get engaged. Is it important that we have more voices? Uh, we are one vehicle that people can plug into. There are many other vehicles as there should be. There have always been other vehicles. In NAACP, our mission is very clear, and we continue to uh, chart a course based on that mission. One person noticeably absent, the President of the United States. We do not have what we believe is an ally in the White House. We don't believe that we have someone who is concerned. Unfortunately for, you know, the truth of the matter is, African Americans are not at the top of anyone's political agenda. I walked in here today to the NAACP and I think there's a lot of people that are talking about things that they can do in their communities. There's something that has to change and there's some some, and I know there's a groundswell of, of activism and people that are just fed up. President Trump and a lot of people that are for him are just ill-informed about the African-American community. And I believe they mean well, but perception is 100% of reality. And at this point, his perception of the African-American community is just unfair. How has Donald Trump's presidency changed activism in your mind, or maybe changed priorities? Our uh, civil rights, if they're not enforced, if our um, children are not safe in our communities, if our young people are gunned down, if our men are killed, those things actually matter. And so I think right now, you know, yes, jobs are critical, education is critical, but safety is critical, humanity is critical, and those are the things that we have to make sure that we don't lose sight of.